Hi, this is Jonathan Cole again. Um, my friend Jeff actually bought an acoustic guitar, and he bought a Harley Benton uh, Custom Line King uh, C E B A K B K stands for Black. A uh, beautiful looking guitar, you know, uh, really, really country western, you know, style, and uh, it's a jump. I think it's a a cutaway. It's a cutaway with a ah what what is it? It's a um a jumble, yeah, it's a jumble with a cutaway. And with a um built in uh fisherman pickup system. Costs about two hundred sixty five sing, uh, which amounts to about what, two hundred, hundred and ninety US and uh it costs about hundred and sixty six euros. And it's relatively cheap, you know, for two hundred and sixty five dollars for for that guitar, you know. So stick around for the unboxing as well as the playthrough and uh, a sort of review of the guitar. Um, I hope you enjoy this. Let's stick around. This is an acoustic guitar actually. It's a custom line, the Holly Benton Custom Line King Black in color. I will do a separate unboxing for this and uh, show you how it sounds and where's, how does it play, right? So this is the Harley Benton Custom Line King CE BK for black. So we're gonna break it open, but first a little bit of a detail into it. This is a jumbo with a cutaway uh, with a solid spruce top, a maple body, maple neck, an open call fretboard, and an open call bridge. And uh, that's about it. And it has uh, go hardware with uh, the Fishman, the normal Harley Benton Fishman pickups. Go. So you have the usual truss rod. Should be a shim. I guess a shim is for the map. There's a shim there, so I don't know what it's for. Truss rod adjustment. Um, Allen key. It's like a manual about how the fish will pick up looks. Oh, it's nice. Looks really nice. It's a great looking guitar. Yeah, and there's a covering here, I don't know what it's for. I don't dare to take this out when there's something else. The guitar is terribly out of tune. Um, there's um, the go hardware. This, uh, this reminds you of a certain brand of guitar. Yeah. <laughs> and that. Um, Quite immaculate. Um, bit of a dust. Nothing serious. So, we got the Harley Benton Custom Line King CE Black. So, we're gonna have a playthrough with this. See how it sounds. So, I'm back. Um, still the tag on. The good of Taman, you know, he had it, they had this little plastic fabric for the sound hole, so that you know, just in case stuff gets into the sound hole during shipment. Upon a close inspection, there were a bit of a, you know, slight little. It's not really a chip. It's like you know, and there's some dink, but not really a dink, a bump, you know, because of the paintwork. Other than that, the guitar is uh, virtually like you know. Flawless. I didn't need this tuner because it's a, a, a built-in tuner, and there's battery in it, so yeah, it's good. Uh, guitar is out of tune because it's 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 been deliberately uh, loosened. You know, it's been detuned. You know, uh, so that you know to protect the neck during shipment. So um, here's a little bit of playthrough of how the guitar sounds like. Uh, with a mic, you know, this is this is actual mic that I would use for recording. So, but it's not strategically placed in the right place. But you know, it's sort of like, 
it captured the overall sound of uh, my the dialogue as well as the guitar playing. So I'm going to do it with uh, just my fingers, you know, with the nails. Tune, uh, especially in I haven't really stretched out the strings um, thoroughly yet. I've just broken it out. Okay, so this is how it sounds like with uh, strumming through the fingers. The neck is straight, is set straight, uh, and actually it's a tad high. I probably, you know, a visit to Wayne <laughs> uh, would solve the problem. It's a bit high uh, to its uh, from the 10th fret onwards, you know, but you know, it's playable. It's a bit higher than my other Holly Benton acoustic guitar, which is a sort of custom king. Alright, so this high sounds like a bit of pick. Okay, my first impression. Um, it sounds really full um, from where I am. You know, I don't know how it sounds like uh, from an audience perspective. From where I am, it sounds really full. It, it, it has a little bit more weight than my other guitar. 
Um, but the highs are about the same, you know. Um, feels the same weight as the other guitar that I have. Um, looks more attractive with the Go Hardware and the Tapsloid, or Taps, Tapsoid, Tapsoid uh, inlays. And uh, yeah, the big mustache. <laughs> yeah. And the, the fact that it's in black in color with the t uh, tortoise, tortoise, tortoise uh, pigard. You know, it sounds really cool. It looks, it looks really country. So, um, my impression, it's a great guitar. I think it's uh, worth getting. I believe this is made in China. Uh, there's a whole lot of varnish here going on. Um, you can smell it. And the uh, guitar is pretty well made. Um, very well finished. Well constructed. Um, with a fisherman pickup. I normally don't use the, 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 the pickup, so I'm not going to test it at all. Uh, has a battery compartment uh, as well as the output switch right here. So, yeah. So I thought. Uh, I thought this could be a, a, a good um, first time guitar, it's relatively cheap. Yeah, it's quite cheap. So, for a beginner or for someone who wants to use this for a recording or anything like that, I think it's a, it's a good guitar to buy. Um, the, only, the only grab I have is the high action uh, about the 10 fret, but that can be resolved easily enough by probably following them. It has a compensated bridge though. Um, well, only for the first two strings. Yeah. So, yeah, probably the Luther, you know, the Luther can do wonders with this, so... Look at this, I mean, what do you think? I mean, I, I think I think it's a, it, it's okay, yeah, I think it's a, it's a worth guitar, it's a worthwhile buy, you know, and uh, give me your comments, you know, let me know what do you think of this guitar and how it sounds like. With this. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and if you want to subscribe and hit the bell, and then you'll be notified of uh, every new video that I come up with. A couple more stuff to inbox, so stay tuned, right? So, till then, ciao.